this is how our backyard looked like before I started my garden. We have this beautiful rock wall because the end of our backyard goes uphill. I had no idea about gardening or anything about plants, so our backyard stayed like this for years. It looks empty and boring and one day I decided to add some charm and color to it by starting a garden. And this is me in the summer of 2020, grabbed my shovel and started digging. And digging. And digging. And more digging. But the ground was so compacted and full of rocks, I could barely get my shovel into it. And my husband suggested he would build me a raised flower bed. And here he is. He got to work right away. Spent all day in the garage. Checking for final adjustments and it's almost done. Alright, setting it up where I want it. And here it is, my first ever flower bed. And it's perfect. Now all I have to do is fill it up with soil, add compost, and start planting. So these were my very first plants. I planted mostly annuals to start with. I grabbed the four pack seedlings from the garden center. I had the red salvias, daisies, and dusty miller. I also got a couple of perennial salvias. And here they are in full bloom. And this is my very first ever flower bed. I'm so happy. Then I wanted some stairs to get to my bird feeders. Asked my husband if he could build me one. So the husband brought out his hammer one more time and started building the stairs of my trees. It's taking shape. Finishing touches. And there's my stairway to heaven. It's beautiful, and that's how it looks like at night with my solar lights. The following year, 2021, it will be my second year of gardening. I got inspired to make my backyard more beautiful by adding another flower bed along the bottom of the rock wall. I could say I did this all by myself without my husband's help. I then started designing my flower bed by laying out a water hose to create the shape I want. Then I pounded a no-dig edging to follow the outline. Went to Minars to get some rock borders and just joined them together within the edging. I also killed the grass in the bed by covering it with newspapers and pouring mulch over it. And this is how it looked like when I was done. It looks much nicer with a stone border and mulch. The space doesn't look empty anymore. I let the grass decompose under the newspaper for the whole year before I started planting. I added some garden decors for aesthetics. I'm so proud of myself of the outcome of my project. It turned out way better than I expected. So this is 2021, my second year of gardening. The backyard looks brighter. My flower bed is blooming. Look at my gladiolus. Uh, there's my stairs going up to the bird feeders. I also put together some planters and uh, planted some dianthus along the border. That's my bird bath over there with solar fountain. I didn't plant a lot yet because I'm still killing the grass underneath. So I just added some annuals like mandevilla and portulaca. I love portulaca, they're very easy to care for. Um, I did plant some perennials like phlox and some roses. I have three rose varieties over at the end. And that's how my garden looked like in 2021. And I'm absolutely thrilled. This is my flower bed in 2022. Now this is the most current clip of my garden taken in 2022. My perennials came back and are filling up the flower bed. I'm loving how the garden looks like now. The dwarf reblooming lilac is looking pretty. The honeysuckle really took off and the hummingbirds love it. I need to get a bigger trellis for it though. I have two kinds of clematis next to the honeysuckle. I think that red plant is lobelia. 
and there's daffodils I transplanted from another location. Um, I added this mini waterfall that's solar powered. I also put some sedum in the rock crevices to cover the holes. I have an umbrella for my bird feeders to keep the nectar from the sun. And there's my flower bed again. That's our sitting area. We replaced the umbrella with a retractable awning. I love spending time out here now listening to the birds. It's very relaxing. It has become my space. It's my happiness zone. Another quick closer view of my backyard secret garden. In my flower bed, I planted salvia, viola, I have coneflower, blanket flower, I have dahlia over there, petunias for annuals. Being a first time gardener, I'm so proud of how the backyard has transformed. And I'll be posting more videos of how I take care of my garden. So please subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.